Hi guys! I've been seeing pom-poms everywhere these days. On beach bags, jewelry, pillows, you name it. They add the perfect pop of color and texture to just about anything. And today, I'm gonna to show you how easy it is to make these adorable embellishments right at home. All you're gonna to need to get started is some yarn, cardboard, and a pair of scissors. First, we're going to create our pom-pom maker using some cardboard. Simply draw or trace a circle onto your cardboard. Mine's about four inches in diameter, which is gonna make a pretty large pom-pom, but you can do any size. And then cut it out using some sharp scissors. Then place it on top of your other piece of cardboard and use it as a template for your second circle. Then stack your two pieces, draw or trace a smaller circle on the inside, and begin cutting it out until you're about an inch away from your starting point and it looks like this. You'll be left with two identical pieces of cardboard that look like C's or little Pac-Mans. Place them on top of each other and begin wrapping your yarn. I'm using this beautiful gradient rainbow yarn that I love. I've linked it in the description below, but you can use any yarn you'd like. There's no specific number of times you have to wrap the yarn, but I like mine to be at least an inch thick. Once you're done, tie off the two ends. And it should look like this. Now we're going to take our scissors and slide them between the two pieces of cardboard and begin cutting all the way around. Take an additional piece of yarn and wrap it around the middle of the frame and then pull it nice and tight and secure it with two knots. And now for the final reveal, let's remove the cardboard frame. This part is very satisfying. And you can see it's pretty much a perfect circle, which is why I love this method. But if it needs a little shaping, you can prune it with some scissors. And ta-da! We have this adorable, soft, squishy pom-pom that we made in just a few minutes. It's fun to experiment with different types of yarn, colors, and sizes. They can get really addictive to make. You can stick these pom-poms on just about anything, but my favorites are a beach bag or attached to a keychain. And an unexpected perk is that they make perfect indoor balls. All right, guys, we had so much fun making and playing with our pom-poms. As always, tell me in the comments below what other DIYs you'd like to see, and we'll see you next Friday. Bye, Bye guys! Mm-hmm.